Yo, what's happening people and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a simple way that you can make melodies from basic chord progressions. If you're new to the channel, then consider subscribing and turning post notifications on so you never miss out on an upload. And with all that said, let's get straight into it. So for beginners, writing melodies can seem really daunting. Keeping everything in key and keeping the melody interesting can seem really hard when you're just starting out. But as long as you remember the tips from this video, you're going to be making melodies a lot easier and much faster. Now, I know you've probably heard this a thousand times by now, but the key to a good melody is a good chord progression. So obviously, the first thing you're going to want is some chords. Now, I'm in D sharp minor and I'm at 140 BPM, but the key and BPM for this method doesn't really matter. You can use major scales or minor scales and you can use pretty much any BPM. So to start with, I'm just going to lay down a simple triad and I'm going to do that by placing my root note, then skipping a note in the scale, placing the next note, and then skipping a note in the scale and placing the next note. I'm going to keep this chord progression real simple. So all I'm going to do is copy these chords across and I'm going to transpose them down five semitones. I'm then just going to select all of this and copy it across. And what I have here now is a real simple chord progression going from a D sharp minor to a B major. If you do want to make things a little more interesting, then you can come in on top of this and add sevenths on. So I'm going to come in and just add one on top of the first two chords. So now we've got some initial chords, we can go ahead and turn this into a melody. You can do this inside the actual clip itself, however I'm going to do it inside a different clip. So for now I'm just going to mute this one and come into this melody clip. Now I'm inside this new clip, I can still see an outline of where my chords are, so I can use this as a guideline when I'm writing my melody. So just to keep things simple, I pretty much know that I'm going to be starting on my roots. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go in and place the root notes down. Now with these notes, you can lay them down in pretty much any order and you can do different rhythms and patterns with them and get creative with it. And this is how you're going to get different sounding chord progressions each time. So I'm just going to go ahead now and use these ghost notes to pencil in the rest of my melody. So as you can see there, that literally took me one or two minutes to do. And now I'm just going to go in and add some root notes and a simple top melody to make things a little bit more interesting. So I've laid down my root notes and added a real simple top melody and now I've turned my chords into a melody and it sounds like this. And now the melody is complete, I don't even really need to stay in this key anymore so I can start transposing it up and down and see whether I like the sound of it somewhere else. Thank you. 
So that is going to bring us to the end of today's video. If you learned anything from it, then make sure to leave it a like before you leave. Hopefully after watching this video, you'll find it a lot easier to make melodies and you'll be able to make them a lot more quickly. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, then big up you. And if you're new around here, then make sure that subscribe button's grey and click the bell next to it so you can be notified every time that I upload. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.